our distinguished guest of honor, Professor Asha Kanwo, the President of Commonwealth of Learning, the Director of St. Blocks, Dr. Joshua Malek, our big brother, the Vice Rector, Active Registrar, Director of Finance, Directors, Deans, Heads of Department, members of staff, our dear sisters and brothers from the informal sector, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of this noble institution, I want to warmly welcome Professor Asha, the President of Commonwealth Planning, to our humble abode. We deem it as a great honor and a privilege to make this polytechnic an important point of call during your visit to Ghana. You have very tight schedule, but just to travel all the spa, and you are even leaving this evening, but you try just to come and interact with us. We are very much grateful. We've seen it as a golden opportunity to interact with the great woman behind the Commonwealth of Learning, to show appreciation for the great support you've been providing us all this while, and also to show you a little of the steady progress we have made when it comes to open and distance learning. And grateful to our big brother, Dr. Mallet, for bringing our August guests safely to us. So thank you very much for coming. Briefly about the Polytechnic, we are relatively a very young institution compared to other Polytechnics. We'll be 20 years next year, others are 50, 60, but by the grace of God, we'll be able to turn out more than 2,000 graduates that are performing, 20,000 graduates that are performing tremendously in the various areas of the economy. We presently have five faculties. We have engineering, built and natural environment. We have a faculty of applied science and technology. We have business and management, and Faculty of Health and Allied Sciences is our last video. We have a great Institute of Open and Distance Learning and a School of Graduate Studies. We are also very honored to tell you that we are one of the six polytechnics that have been converted into technical uh, university, and coming this September, we'll assume our new status. <laughs> Prof, as we assume this new status, we are very much aware ahead of us. So we are determined not just to change our name to Investi, but to reinvent and rebrand ourselves. We are currently reviewing all our curriculum and also so that we'll be able to promote more of distance learning in Kofreda Polytechnic and add on hands-on training and competency-based features. In keeping with the Investi, Technical Investi Campus, we want to introduce more science and technology programs. Currently, 70% of our programs are uh, science and technology based, and our target is 90%. So we are working hard towards it. Ophelia Polytechnic is highly committed to the development of open and distance learning. Our institution's policy on open and distance and flexible learning has been approved by the Academy Board, and just awaiting the final approval of the Governing Council of the Polytechnic in September. They will have a policy that will guide all the activities of the distance learning. We've revised that and we want to take it to another level. For further Polytechnic current strategic plan, that is from 2016 to 2022, seven year strategic plan, has a full trust on promotion and development of open and distance learning. And this is to help us to really expand and develop distance learning program by 2018. For the 2015-2016, WITE has taken off with full enthusiasm. They embark on various activities in the technical institutions to let them know and encourage more females to get involved in science and technology education. In course of the program, we give opportunities to the WITE president to brief you about some of their activities. On behalf of the Polytechnic, we really, really want to show appreciation to call because of your great involvement in helping the Polytechnic in development of a open and distance learning. CORE has contributed greatly to the building of capacity of our staff by equipping them with flexible skills and effective use of PowerPoint presentation. We are also proud to say that with the training of the development of models, our staff members can now develop effective or very good interactive models. The various support and training we have received from CORE has enabled us to educate more than 3,000 students on the model platform. We have about 2,800 PhD students and 400 Bachelor of Technology students. We can confidently say that 
we are a leading polytechnic when it comes to open and distance learning. We are also excited to inform you that with the enormous support we are receiving from call, the Polytechnic has received an award from the African Union for having one of the most promising technical vocational trading models for the 21st century. So our director of uh, IODL led the delegation to Addis Ababa where they showcase all activities to receive the award on behalf of the Polytechnic. So I said good those to the IODL for the great way they have been partnership for. And we could not achieve this without the great partnership and support from Commonwealth of Lane. Talking about radio program, we are one of the investors that are doing that. We have great partners, a partnership with the informal sector that we train, hairdressers, sim tracers, artisans, to make sure and we give them a good graduation with certificate to be able to enhance their businesses. And uh, we, the support that we are receiving from you that we are able to achieve all this feat. Professor Kawa, we are so much grateful. And it's our prayer that as we become technical investors, our relationship will grow bigger and bigger. We need you more than ever. And then we hope that you continue to take us to a higher level. Yes. So on behalf of the Polytechnic, I say acquire, but you are welcome. Education specialist, higher education and policy, and then became vice president of the Commonwealth of Learning for six years. She's the only staff of the Commonwealth of Learning that I know of. In fact, in fact that has risen through the yeah. land. Before joining the Commonwealth of Learning, Professor Asha Kanwa worked for over 15 years at the Indira Gandhi National Open University, Igni, and she rose to the rank of Pro Vice Chancellor. And you know, Igni, you know the population of the students of Igni, over 3 million students. <laughs> and they have five Pro Vice Chancellors. And then also, she worked as a consultant in open and distance learning at UNESCO's Regional Office for Education in Africa, BRIDA, in Dakar. She, was, she has over 30 years of experience in teaching, research, and administration. Mm. Professor Kawa received the International Council for Open and Distance Education ICDE Prize of Excellence in 2009. And in 2014, she, she received the AAOU Meritorious Service for Outstanding Contributions in the Areas of Open and Distance Learning. She has been awarded honorary doctorate degrees by four universities. Wow. And effective, effective September last year, she was elected as a member of the ICBE Executive, executive Committee for four years. This is the first polytechnic she has visited in Ghana. She's combined this visit with a, a lecture she gave at the National Open University of Nigeria last week, and another lecture at the University of Education, Winneba, uh, this week. That was yesterday. The day before and a, a catchy call of the Minister for Education, Professor Nana Jinokoku Ajima. And it's my privilege to bring her here, and probably the last distinguished lecture before you turn into a technical university. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. uh, Professor Asha Kawa is very humble, mm. the president of the entire Commonwealth of Learning. Mm. She is very, very meek. She listens to you, you think she has not heard you. When we met today, things we shared in 2004, she reminded me of some of them. And uh, she cherishes people. And I'm proud to have worked with her and to still be working with her. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my joy and privilege to introduce to you Professor Adam. Results oriented. Yeah. We could see all those results. Mm -hmm. The second R is that you're a very responsive partner for call. We love uh, Koforidua Polytechnic because you're so responsive and you are really one of our stars in the Invest Africa. Wow. So the first was 
is results oriented, the second is a responsive partner, and the third, again, what I saw from the presentations is you're a very responsible mm. institution. Mm. So that's the third R, a responsible institution, responsible to your community, to your society, to, the, to your national development. So I hope you'll continue in that way. And as you make a transition from Polytechnic to university, you can count on Paul accompanying you on that journey as you cross new frontiers.